So growing up, um, and sorry, cameraman, you're going to hate me because I, I pace. But growing up, I wanted to become an engineer. And not just that. I wanted to work on the technologies of the future. I wanted to build and design satellites. I wanted to literally work on a project that could launch a man or woman to infinity and beyond. And that's what happened. I've had the amazing opportunity to work on satellites like MMS, which is a project that studies magnetic reconnection, which is how the sun and Earth's magnetic fields connect and disconnect. I've had the opportunities to work with Japanese engineers on this project, GPM, which is an international weather satellite that studies rain and snowfall worldwide every three hours, helping us to get more accurate data to tell you know, when we'll have 60 mile per hour winds outside or when it's going to snow 14 inches. And by far, one of my favorite satellites, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is a successor to the very popular Hubble Space Telescope that gave us amazing images like this one of the Eagle Nebula. And James Webb will allow us to see even further, to study unseen corners of the universe. To put the capabilities or power of this satellite into perspective for you, James Webb can see and identify items the size of a penny over 24 miles away. That's seven times more powerful than Hubble. So seven times more powerful than images like this. And also another one of my favorite reasons is because right there in the bottom, I was able to wear the little bunny suit. <laughs> All right, so that was, that was the goal. That was, my, that was my dream growing up, to become an engineer. And throughout my uh, experiences and career, I've realized that any goal I set for myself is accomplishable. Anything I set my mind to, I feel as I can do, and you can do the same. And today, I need you to realize that you have the opportunity to unlock hidden potential the chance to impact future generations to come, and the means to accomplish any goal you set for yourself, no matter how big or small that goal might be. So here's the question. How? How do you do this? And before I go any further, I'd like to take a step back and involve you, the audience. And you don't have to do anything wild or crazy like stand up or anything like that. <laughs> Privately to yourself, identify a goal that you have. Specifically for this experiment, let's identify a short-term goal. So anything in the next five years you hope to accomplish between now and 2023, if I'm still good at math. Yeah, 2023. Um, so now in 2023, it can be graduating high school or college. It could be becoming a team lead. It could be anything you want. Privately identify that to yourselves. And when you're done with that, snap your fingers for me. OK. Now that everyone has a goal, the question I pose to you is, what's your plan? Do you have a plan for how to accomplish this goal? So let's take the next five seconds and identify a very, very top level plan of how you'd like to accomplish this. And when you've done that, nod your head for me. <laughs> I'll see a lot of nods. <laughs> I'll see a lot of nods. All right, so now that you have a goal and a plan, hold on to those. We'll need them later. I would say you could jot down your phone, but we can't have phones. So if you forget, I'm sorry, but try to forget, try to remember. <laughs> All right, so how did I go from here to here? All right, so on the left is Babyface Kenny <laughs> at age 15 at one of my very first internship experiences, you know, passionately awaiting whatever project I work on next. And here on the left, right, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's backwards up here. Here on the right, I'm, at 20, I'm 24, working on the James Webb Space Telescope and living out my dream or beginning to live out my dream. But what's not shown here is between these two pictures, there are thousands of failures, times I've doubted myself, embarrassing moments, and a host of other challenges. There's actually a time that falls between these pictures where I was called into the office and told by my own academic advisor to stop my pursuit of my engineering degree. Wow, right, wow. <laughs> but I'm able to humbly and unboastfully stand before you today and say, I have not one, but two engineering degrees. Okay. So also, between these two pictures, there's a lot of accomplishments, triumphs, lessons, but most importantly, guidance. And that's the element I want to talk to you about today. During the first internship I had is when I realized the true power of this element. And when I was there at the first internship, I worked with a, a gentleman named Alfonso. And one day while we're walking through the high bay area at NASA, which is 
where, you know, they had the big rolled up doors so you can roll into the clean room and vibe chambers and all that. He turns to me and says, young grasshopper, what's your plan? What are your goals for the future? And, you know, I, I stand up and say, I want to be an engineer. But as far as the plan I have, I don't really have a, a set pace or a set plan for how to achieve this goal. And I say that to say it's okay. If when I actually you identify your plan, you didn't know, it's okay. It's okay to not have a plan and to have a goal initially. And that's when I realized the power of this element because Alfonso shared not only his, his, his triumphs and his experience with me, but most importantly, he shared his failures. His failures and things that, that tripped him up and things he, he, he didn't want me to trip over. And after this conversation with Alfonso, and a host of other people, they helped me to form my goals into specific and achievable steps. A host of other people, I need to come over here for this, a host of other people that includes my father, who is by far my greatest mentor, always reminding me to, to, to build my knowledge on a solid foundation within the field and to constantly surround myself with like-minded people who only benefit me positively in my journey. So that's the element I want to talk to you about today. And the answer to the question, how? Mentorship. A guide or someone to help navigate you toward your destination. Someone to share not only their triumphs and to boast and tell you everything great they've done, but to share their failures with you as well. Someone to pick you up when you're down. Like when my advisor called me into the office and said, you should drop, you should drop this engineering dream. You're, it, it's, it's too hard for you. You need something easier. I talked to, I talked to Alfonso. I talked to my, my dad and my mom, whoever. And they helped me to, 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 to get through that. And now, and, and I don't want to make it seem like mentorship is so important to me because I was mentored at a young age or I'm continually mentored to this day. But most important is because I have mentees. And I realize that it's a full circle. And I yearn for this circle to never be broken. I, I, I constantly talk to my mentees to identify goals that they have and how I can help them ultimately achieve this goal. Not by giving it to them on a silver platter, but by pointing them in the right direction and allowing them to do the brunt work of it. So being and having a mentor is what helped me to get where I am today, and I wouldn't be where I am without it. So imagine this, a society or a corporation or organization that fully utilized mentorship. They had people that intentionally helped you achieve your goals or intentionally helped you achieve your dreams. Intentionally seeking out mentors and mentees will help move us forward and is the key element, in my belief, to the future infrastructure that we'll live in. And so now I ask you to recall the goal or plan I asked you to identify earlier. Did this goal or plan include talking to someone that had the experience to get you there? Is there room to include them now? Is there room for a mentee? There might be someone in this room that can help you get to your goals. You might be able to help someone in this room achieve their goals. So the message today is simple. Mentors and mentees, if you don't have one, get one. <laughs> And today, I want you to remember, and take, the take home here is remember, you have the opportunity to unlock hidden potential, whether it's yours or somebody else's. The chance to continuously impact future generations to come and the means to accomplish any goal you set for yourself, no matter how big or small that goal might be. So here's the question. What's your plan? Thank you.